everybody it is your boy twin plays here back with another video i hope you guys are all doing amazing um i know it has been a minute since i've done a tutorial once again i have been trying my best to get things out but um this tutorial is going to be fast simple and a little different um today we're going to be talking about how to make an avatar you know catalog creator game now this was not made by me this tutorial i'm actually going to be basing it off of the creator uh lucky Droz. um everything is in the description so Go feel free to just check all the links in the description. Um, also, join the Discord while you're at it because we do host giveaways and we do everything amazing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I know it's been a sec and I'm planning to create more tutorials as we're getting into it. So happy Thanksgiving that's coming up. But um, as you can tell, this is a little avatar game. This was made by the creators. Um, and it's actually pretty cool how they do this. Um, so if you do want to make an avatar game, I'm going to consider you watching this video right now. But um, as you can tell, I just clicked turkey and it's popping up all these turkeys, which is sick as heck. Um, we have bundles, you got try on, you got see items, so I could try it on. Um, oh my god. Oh, oh, and it made me a turkey. Okay, well, yeah, so um, you, you get the point here. Um, they got a lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, I really love the idea of how uh, you can click an item or a proximity prompt right here of what it is, and it brings you to that like category. Uh, but yeah, as you can tell down here, we have outfits. Um, it has hot, top, new, posted. It's all this actually really cool stuff. So I really like the way they do this because um, you can actually look at like other people's things and you can actually like try them on and like see what they've done. Um, and it's it's a it's a very 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 nice um, catalog. So this is much different than the one we had a long time ago, which is amazing. Um, but as you can tell, they just have all the stuff, limiteds, characters. Uh, buy outfits save so it saves too as well which is very nice you guys but you get the whole point this is the avatar creator thing so um yeah feel free to hit that subscribe button and we're about to hop right into this it's going to be very fast and simple um actually a little a little, a little bit of a, a little bit of a process but we'll do this right away so uh feel free to open up your roblox studio all right so now that we're in um you know studio we're actually gonna be looking at this dev form right here so there's a lot of stuff. Um, it talks about getting started, easy setup, uh, you know, really everything what's going on in here. Saved outfits, body customization, camera modes. Uh, it looks like you can actually have a uh, sales revenue thing. So it's actually really, really cool. Um, so we can go into the pop-up docs. This is a notion thing. This is how to get it started. Um, SDK. So there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff right here. So setup. So you're going to want to, uh, yeah, so there's there, there's just there's a whole process right here, and um, I'm gonna go step into step on how to do this, but um, yeah, you pretty much can look at all this stuff and see like what's going on, how to do it, um, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, if you were to just click this get started button, it should just take you back to here. Um, it should talk about getting started. So um, yeah, we're basically just gonna go step into step into this. So we're gonna want to create a uh, business account. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's do this and. Um, I'll just go over here and we'll get this started. All right, so once you actually create your account, it's going to quickly just lead you into this uh, little like, you know, superbiz.gg thing. Um, and it's going to ask you, you know, data store editor, catalog, stuff. So you're just going to click add game and you're going to just put your uh, link right there. So once you've put your, um, your link in the game thing and your Discord uh, username, then you should be good to set that up. So I'll just do that real quick. So actually just go like this, basically, it's just going to be like, you know, add your game. It's going to automatically do this thing and it's going to ask you to go to the page, do the demographics, and then you should be good on that part. Just make sure to click the submit button right up here and you should be good. Now, once we're doing done doing that, um, it does ask you if you want to like put your SDK in or whatever and uh, go to this dev doc. So you can go into here and it shows you really how to set everything up. But um for now, we're just going to go to this first part where we already did this and registered it. Now we're going to go and download this plugin and then we're going to navigate it in settings and then do the API key stuff right here. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can tell up here, we have the um, stuff right here and it's pretty much API key, all this stuff. Uh, pretty much done with that plugin part. So you're going to enter your API key. I'm going to show you how to get that in a second. Let me do this real quick. All right, so it actually shows you right here. You basically just go to your uh, dev portal. That's just the thing right there. You go to account and then you find SDK details and it should show you your API key. Um, and then I'm just going to just do this real quick for myself. And you're actually going to need to uh, click allow on this. So once you hit your put your like thing in, you just hit apply and then it's going to say allow. So make sure to allow it. The next step it says is to add an update SDK. So you're going to need to do this. 
click allow one more time and once you click allow it actually should do a script injection if i'm right um there we go so now you're good got it right here this is all the scripts so that's good to have let's move on to the next step also make sure you have your um all of this set on uh, you don't need teleports but i'm pretty sure you're going to need all of these so just make sure these are on for your game just because this is the main game settings thing that you need for your game when you do this kind of stuff all right so for the next one we're going to be doing is configuring the blocks for the convict um so basically we're going to be adding a module script it looks like into replicate storage we're going to be naming it this and then we are going to uh delete any codes and copy this into it so uh basically for that portion we can just go into replicate storage do a module script um, we would name this blocks with config um, and then we are going to go back into this copy this text um, and then we're just going to go right here and then your account id is where you're going to put your account id so i'm going to quickly grab mine um, and to find your account ID, you actually could just click this right here. It'll bring you right to it. Um, it's pretty much the same ID as where you found your API key. So once I did that, just exit out of it. You're all good. Um, close these up and you're actually good to just hit publish to Roblox. Um, and then let me look at the last steps to make sure everything is all right. All right, so that seems to be it. It does say that you need to make sure that you um, add an update every once in a while. So make sure to do that. I don't know what update ads is, so I'll have to look into that. But... Make sure you're updating your thing every once in a while just because you want to make sure that um, it is all staying up to date. Um, it did also mention about how you can uh, share your game with others. Um, by this, I mean, I think it's asking you if you want them to view your analytics, look at the data store editor, anything like that. Um, so this is really nice. Um, then when it comes to catalog stuff, so um, we want to do a lot of stuff. So as you can tell, we have uh, this stuff right here. So Basically, we're going to go to copy. Okay, yeah, so this is basically what we need to do. Um, so we're just going to copy this actually instead. And we are going to uh, go and get some new things. So let me actually quickly do that. All right, so I just made this in here. I don't care if you guys see a kind of doesn't make a difference. Um, so catalog enabled is true. Um, this just shows uh, top right toolbar, yes. Um, so if players wear the trend outside of catalog, yes. Uh, limited number of closes, yes and this is the same thing as yes is game voice chat enabled um i would say true honestly because i like that so um you're good there on that portion and remember you can just hit publish after this but now let's say you want to make those proximity things so we're actually going to look straight into that so it actually looks like you can just download this right here and um you're going to just download it and uh basically drag and drop so let me do that real quick okay so i basically just imported it all you got to do by the way guys is go to model tab and then you just go to the extra model tab click it and just download that put it in um but yeah so it looks like it's right here for you um looks like there's that prompt part server probably grabs the business catalog module stuff um you can also change things right here if you want to like change the distance or how long you may hold it for everything like that um so let me just double check what we got here um so yeah use the following in the catalog in a local script um custom trigger so we want to make our own it looks like you basically just do this uh which is pretty nice so you could just um set that into a random thing um to close the catalog just do this again so actually yeah that's really nice if you want to uh oh a specific category so this is kind of where it's talking about um like a theme store um Oaken catalog term and there's these terms right here Okay, so I'm going to actually leave this up to you guys to do this because it's not as hard as it looks. Um, so, like, okay, let's, let's just, we can quickly look at the open, like, Halloween category. So, like, if we were to, this is a local, it should have a local script already. Um, this is the server script. This is going to just, you know, do this catalog model. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is grabbing, opening catalog. Um, this one's actually not too bad. I kind of like how it does this um i don't know prompt part yeah we're going that status icon blue label um but if we were probably to create another one let's say um so we could go into here like like we said just you know name this like halloween um and then we're gonna do a simple uh, prompt thing so tell me what call um so i uh, you can call if the category exists, the catalog is enable. Eh. Open Halloween category, local button. 
Yeah, this is a GUI button, so we could just do, um, oh yeah, no, it's right here. Duh. Um, so, into here. So this is doing a open catalog. You see how it's doing open catalog right here? All you would have to do for this part is you just go right here. And so, like, see how I just, that was open catalog Halloween. You basically would just do that. It would just be a certain term. Um, and then you'd want to make sure you replace it over here to open catalog Halloween. And that should specifically open it to Halloween theme store. Um, now, if you do want to do more things, I don't know what they mean by like certain themes. Like, I don't know how many themes there are. I think you kind of just have to mess around with the catalog, see what there is. Um, and it actually looks like there is a bout buy outfit. So this is really nice because um, you could actually buy an outfit if you put something on a stand. So I'm guessing this is what it does in general. Um, yeah, this probably opens directly from the outside. Prompt up by outfit. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, free limited, uh, customized toolbar, marketing. Yeah. So I, I really, I do really like how um, they made this because it's it's really it's really nice, really simple. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, it all should be really set up and done uh it does talk about how you do earn 40 percent commissions that is very true um it is all very free which is very nice um yeah but i hope you guys kind of enjoyed this there probably is updating going on so like largest update redesign stuff like they did a lot of stuff lately um so yeah it, it, it's pretty customizable um go around mess around with it if you want to make a gui button like they said is you'd create this create a little screen UI, you do like a little text button or something, add a local script, and you'd simply like put the open catalog API thing into there, um, like shown in the docs. So mess around with it, do what you guys want to do. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, pretty simple or enough. And um, hey, you guys, I have a lot of more tutorials coming, don't worry about it. Um, and I plan on updating the kits that you guys have all been wanting. To. So have a great Thanksgiving. Um, I will be going live and trying to post for New Year's and Christmas, of course, I will be the person. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.